We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. I was watching the comments on His Glory TV and it says Taco Tuesday. I didn't even know it was Tuesday. Uh, This is the day of the week that my sons do not like the most because they have to do the trash around the house. So I always remember Tuesday by trash. Today is August the 4th. It is Taco Tuesday. Maybe that will be dinner. Uh, the 14th of Av, the year 5,780 on the Hebrew calendar, and we title this, Before the Explosions, Watch Israel. Everything in the end days is around Israel. Israel is the center of everything. We've been talking about this for years. Bible prophecy coming to for fruition uh, right before our very eyes. Uh, we'll get into that where there was a major explosion. This was a Hezbollah uh, ammunitions facility that the Israelis took out. The Israelis have not uh, admitted to this yet, but it's uh, obvious. Um, the funny thing about this, I was uh, today, this morning, I was like, I was looking at all my notes and I was thinking, boy, today is a quiet day. This is really quiet. There's not much. I thought, I don't even, how much are we going to even have for take five? There's nothing going on. I mean, relatively. So I was, in the, I was riding the bike and uh, 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 getting into my, uh, my Bible. I, I, ride the, I read the Bible when I'm on the bike. And all of a sudden, the Lord said to me, he goes, Israel, Israel, real loud. And I go, Israel? What do you mean, Israel? And sure enough, when I got off the bike, uh, boom, that happened. He also told me about a prophetic word. So why don't we start with a prophetic word um, that the Lord gave today. And it has Israel in it. This was before I even knew that uh, Israel struck. My son... Listen to my voice in this time of shaking and turmoil. I am is the only voice that matters, explanation point. Tell my people, David, I am that I am, that's all capitalized. Here's their cries, and I will restore the land, explanation point, all in capital. Be prepared for a much shaking going into the elections here, uh, here and Israel. I am, capital, is, is, uh, is calling his people to take up their rock like David and prepare the shot that I will guide, explanation point. I am is looking for the church that loves, that loves, me, uh, uh, loves me and is obedient to my word. Watch how I turn this all around like a boomerang for my purpose and glory. David, do you not remember first I told you about the things that were going to happen before they happened? Uh, watch as, the, as, uh, as I have said this. Trust, but, but walk with me. He says, trust, but walk with him. I love you, my son. So that was prophetic word uh, today, August 4th, uh, around the nation of Israel, the shaking. We said it's going to get bumpier before it gets uh, better, but trust that he has it. But again, he's telling us, that we need to stay in his word and we need to walk hand in hand. You can't sit back. It's not a participation or it's, it's a participation sport. You've got to walk with him. As David literally had to take the rock and, and, and take the shot, even though he knew God, God was going to guide it right in the middle of Goliath. All right, so let's get around Israel. Israeli jets strike Syria this morning. Uh, they hit Hamas yesterday in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Today they were on the edge and hit uh, Syria with a mighty revenge for attacks. Israel is uh, being closed in and on the brink with with war on all sides of her today, Uh, not only from Syria, Lebanon, West Bank, uh, Jordan, and obviously Iran. And then you see the huge explosions that we were talking about, the huge explosions. You should see the videos. This is in Beirut. Uh, absolutely one of the most devastating explosions that, that I've seen. It almost looks like a, tu- a, a tactical nuclear weapon, but it was an ammunition. Remember, Hezbollah has been running weapons from Iran all the way up into, uh, into Lebanon. Uh, hundreds of thousands of rockets that they were going to use to strike Israel, and that's why the Israeli, uh, the, the Israeli Air Force took them out. Israeli Air Force is working on some other plans as well. We'll talk about that and how they're uh, working with the United States fighter pilots with the F-35. Remember, Israel bought some F-35s and re, uh, re- reestablished their, their uh, co- cockpits and software. 
The purpose of getting the F-35 is they can maneuver through the S-400 rocket radar system that Iran has protecting its facilities in Israel has perfected the F-35 so that they can get around the S-400 systems. They've been working on it for a couple of years. If you've, uh, if, if you've been following us, we've been telling you that. So you don't mess with Israel. They, they, they strike back and they strike back big. If you haven't seen that video, we have it on our His Glory Twitter. Uh, you don't even have to be on Twitter to uh, follow us on His Glory Twitter. You can go on to our His Glory TV, our His Glory main page, and all our social media is right up there. You can just click on it and you can see the, the Twitter. It's an amazing, amazing explosion. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on uh, as we speak. All right, speaking of guests, uh, people are asking about guests. Uh, jo Jonah Ritter will be coming back for uh, a teaching around the Jewish festival of Sukkoth, which is the Feast of uh, Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths. So that is October 2nd, I believe. We're going to have Jonah, Jonah uh, Ritter back on. Uh, remember this Friday, Amanda Grace is going to be back with us. Her Grace will be with us, and I'm sure she has some prophetic words. Uh, matter of fact, I think she had a dream. I haven't heard what the dream is yet. Uh, a long conversation yesterday, <laughs> Cyrus Parza, guy is so smart. Uh, my mind turns to jello at about nine o'clock, and uh, I, I need to have a full mind just to even communicate with him regular because he's so far advanced. Uh, he's just so smart. But anyway, long story short, Cyrus is going to be back on, and uh, there's people inside the White House. We know who you are now that are watching Cyrus very closely. So we're going to have Cyrus back on. We want to get Cyrus uh, into the president's advisory. David Rodriguez, uh, we may have David Rodriguez on again with Cyrus. thought that might be a little bit of fun. Uh, David reached out yesterday, and we're going to have David back on as well. Who else is coming in? Oh, Mike Smith. Mike Smith, we're working out the details of Out of Shadow, having him back on. And uh, a pastor, You're, you probably heard about this. There is a outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Huntington Beach, California. And this was started by a pastor named Jesse Green. Guess what? Jesse Green will be coming on his Glory TV to share what the Lord is doing in Huntington Beach in California. And remember, we said, we've been saying for months, there is a great revival coming to California. And it's happening. And we hope that that revival will continue. When we're out in California, we will be... It looks like my whole family is going to be there. Um, we will be out in California September 7th through September 14th. We will let you know the dates. We'll probably do three meet and greets while we're there in the San Clemente area. Our prayers to the lost families uh, of the Marines uh, that were lost in, the, in that area. That's where Camp Pendleton is. Seven Marines and one sailor died in a, a, a training exercise uh, two days ago. So our prayers are with us. We're right next to Camp Pendleton. So we'll let you know uh, what dates those, those uh, meet and greets. It'll probably be the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of that week, but we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. So more revival coming to California. Uh, we love California. Again, uh, Mrs. His Glory will be there. Creed will be there. My, my older son, Jagger, will be there. And also my daughter, Brittany, will be there. So it'll be a family uh, get-together out in California. Good time. Speaking of California... Uh, you're seeing much, much happening with child trafficking. It seems like every day something major, major, major is continuing to come out with human trafficking. AG Barr is with Ivanka Trump right now. They're uh, talking about the grants for organizations to provide housing for human trafficking survivors. They gave $35 million to the survivors. More awareness is coming with this, as you saw with Craig Sawyer, the sawman coming on. We may have Craig on in the future again. Uh, his his uh, documentary, uh, Contra Land, was uh, outstanding. Also, California AG files a new child rape uh, charges against the leader of a one million uh, person uh, church called La, La Luz Del Mont. So even the church is being exposed. Remember, we said that one of the biggest scandals of all will be the Catholic Church. And what this has happened in the bowels of the Vatican will just bring people, you'll lose your lunch, is, is, is how sick it is. It's absolutely, absolutely terrible. And uh, justice will, will, will prevail. Uh, Ron Johnson, Senator Ron Johnson's making the news. We talked about him the other day. He came out hard against Roxy, saying that there's going to be blood on people's hands for the fake news. Uh, they're enemy of the people. He's also talking about what they have found, him and Chuck Grassley. We we're talking a little bit about that yesterday. He came out more about that. He says there's overwhelming evidence. For those people who think that Barack Obama and his administration did nothing, 
Look to Ron Johnson and Charles Grassley. Yes, they're Republicans, but evidence is evidence. He says they have overwhelming evidence, their committee, to show that the corruption was widespread all through the Obama administration and it went all the way to the top, meaning Barack Hussein Obama. By the way, happy birthday. It might be a special birthday today for Barack. Uh, Jim Jordan was tweeting something that was coded as well today, so we'll get to that. Uh, Illinois doctor came out today with a study saying that the Roxy is actually even good for your heart. There is a absolute out of control attack on Roxy. And you think about this logically, why would they go so double down and quadruple down and go after uh, Roxy so hard? And the reason is multiple. One is money. One is the V option. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry, this, this drug is only 73 cents a pill. Uh, it's been around for 60 years. It can be done over the counter, hopefully soon, by executive order. But you, you, you got to question why they continue to double down. Even people within the 343 and the 641 are continuing to double down each day. That's why Ron Johnson says, hey, you know what? There's going to be, when this all truth comes out and what you've been spewing that has lied, people have died because you have lied. And that ties into a tweet that President Trump was talking about today. President Trump was talking about how Big Pharma has gone against him, running ads against him. Why would Big Pharma go against President Trump? Because Big Pharma holds all the patents to these drugs, and drugs mean money. They were never in the cure business. They've always been in the drug business. Uh, there's no money in curing anything. Why do you think we've spent billions and billions and billions of dollars in cancer and really not gotten any further? It's about the Benjamins. And he's exposing them. And many else are exposing them as well. And uh, the truth will come out. Roxy, Roxy, Roxy. Let's make Roxy over the counter. Um, it's proven. Um, why else? Also, logically, you see these doctors that went to Capitol Hill. You see these doctors coming out and putting their entire... Uh, they're putting their entire jobs in practice. Dr. Gold, for example, she was with that emergency, emergency room doctor for 20 years, one of the most respected doctors in her hospital, and her state for that matter. Why would she go out so far on a limb and risk her entire career over 319 and telling the truth and Roxy, if it weren't the truth? They're coming out and they're trying to hold, you, hold it back. It is a manipulation, it is fake news, it is the criminal news trying to uh, go against uh, what they know is a, a cure. Uh, these people are sick, literally. Uh, so take some Roxy. Roxy is, it's not over. Each day it continues. But more and more people each day are waking up to this. That's why we need to make Roxy uh, an executive or, uh, order uh, over the counter. That's coming. We said earlier that Big Pharma, obviously Big Pharma, President Trump ran, uh, did an executive order last week taking drug prices down, that Big Pharma doesn't like that, and Big Pharma definitely doesn't want a 55-year-old drug or 60-year-old drug that costs 73 cents a pill uh, to be the silver bullet, even though the WHO said there's no silver bullet. Uh, this is a house of cards, and President Trump is about ready to play the Trump card. No president, or anybody that I know of for that matter, has dared to go up against Big Pharma. Remember, we said for years, the last two or three years, there is a scandal inside Big Pharma that will come out. All the big names will come crashing down. We've already seen Monsanto, we've seen Bayer, we've seen Johnson & Johnson, and every other big name you've heard of is coming. Uh, and this is just setting it up. Does people see that there's a trend here now? There's an actual trend. That's why you're gonna need to get your extreme terpenes because pain is coming and there's nothing better to get your pain uh, gone than extreme terpenes. So get your extreme terpenes, daytime, nighttime, the gummies. I love the gummies. Gummies are probably my favorite. Uh, so get your extreme terpenes, His Glory. Uh, at, at the checkout, His Glory, you get 5% off. Your subscriptions, you get 10% off. You combine your Obey order, which would be uh, any of the lip balm or therapeutic gel. Uh, you combine that with your extreme terpenes, $45 or more free shipping. Uh, and if it's your first order, you get a Bible. You can't be getting a Bible. And Vicky prays. We will be seeing Vicky in California. It's, it's so amazing that our, our fam, a lot of our family uh, is in California. As you see, our praise music comes from California. It seems like everybody we know is in California. So that's our second home. Also, Hebrews. Hebrews, uh, Chris and Jeanette, they pray over every order of Hebrews. And people talk about the fudgy 
The I, think, I can't a chocolate fudge uh, flavor. That's my wife's favorite. Uh, I like anything of the Hebrews. Uh, I never thought that I would ever get to say I was a coffee snob, because in the Marines you just drink the you know chicory or whatever it's called. You just anything. You can just put it in your arm. Um, but uh, I do I do prefer the organic. The organic is, has gotten to me, and I can't go a day without Hebrews. So I got to take my Hebrews with me. Uh, Hebrews will be going with us to California. So will the Beamer. All right, Ron Johnson continues to call out uh, the, the fake news criminal, as we said before, on the Roxy. Uh, he said that they need to have a, a federal plan that no state government pharma uh, boards can shut them down like they did in Ohio just recently until the governor of Ohio reversed that because big pharma boards are not in the interest of patients. So there are very few uh, holistic doctors out there. I'm just blessed that I, I have one. Uh, so th the war is on. He's called it. He's called, he's called the punch and uh, he's ready to punch. Follow the money. Uh, this is rigged. The POTUS always knew. He didn't just come out and say, I believe Roxy works. He knew beforehand. Again, that's 73 cents a pill compared to some of these others that people like Dr. Fauci have financial interest in. All right, Israel training. We said earlier with the F-35s with the United States, they, are, they can bypass the S-400 radar system, the advanced radar system that the Russians sold to the Iranians. They've been practicing that on a particular island uh, in Greece for a while now. Uh, and uh, so watch, I watch Iran, uh, watch Israel. You don't think Israel will strike? We're seeing, when you see this video of Beirut, uh, Lebanon, you're seeing how Bible prophecy can literally come alive. Uh, with a tactical nuclear weapon, Isaiah 17 has never been fulfilled. In one day before morning, Damascus shall be no more. Damascus is the capital of Syria. Underneath the city of Damascus is where they store all their bioweapons. That's similar to what happened in Beirut. They have ammunition and they have bioweapons there. So you see a, a, a reason now where you could see Israel striking and fulfilling uh, Isaiah 17 uh, being no more by, uh, by morning. Uh, Israel trip. We mentioned Israel trip. You get inf more information on our Israel trip. You can go to His Glory TV, get the brochure. Uh, get uh, sign up for the Isra uh, Israel trip. It will change your life. I was thinking about the Israel trip yesterday because I had a call with them in Jerusalem yesterday. And um, Zion Oil and Gas is up. If you're following Zion Oil and Gas, they're, they're, they just announced that they're going to be drilling, starting drilling. They got the approval. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've uh, talked. Uh, Macaroni Bear is being homeschooled. So we're, one of his homeschooling things that we're working on is finances. Instead of just taking paper money and sticking it under a, 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 a mattress, you need to invest it. So a long, it took a long time to get it through his mind, but he's finally gonna he's gonna invest in some Zion stock with it, with his uh, with his allowance money. And when I was doing the math on this, we will be in Israel at the time that Zion may be at the peak of their drilling to the maximum depth that they're going depth that they're going to drill. What a trip that could be when we're in Israel. And Zion oil and gas it happens to hit oil. While we're there in Caesarea, they have a head, they have a uh, office in Caesarea. I'm going to try to get off and see and meet with John Brown. If anybody uh, reaches out to Zion oil and gas, we'd love to have John Brown. He is the founder of Zion oil and gas, and he is a Christian. Uh, absolutely amazing uh, testimony of how he came to Christ and how he has this vision of getting oil. In the, uh, on the crown of Joseph out of the Bible in Israel. So they'll be drilling in Caesarea. So come with us in Israel. It may be a bang, uh, bang up time. It will be a bang up time. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing like the trip. It'll change your life. All right, more. Um, uh, a man was painting his lawn uh, completely Trump. Uh, it, it triggered the neighbors. It was all blue, Trump 2020 in a subdivision. I can see a lot of Karens going absolutely crazy on that. Can you imagine that being in your... Uh, speaking of that, Mrs. Says Glory's coming up with a face mask that says Trump 2020 on the face mask. So you see a bunch of Trump 2020 face mask. Guess what? The mask mandate will be gone in a, in, in a heartbeat. Uh, so maybe that's what we got to do. Uh, I, was, I think uh, Saw, uh, Saw Man sent me this because uh, he, he lives in Arizona. Uh, Pennell... County Arizona Sheriff is deputizing civilians for a posse 
uh, to help su uh, suppress the lawlessness in his county. Remember, we the people, we the people, we have the we the people shirt. Get your we the people shirt on his glory. You can get your constitutional uh, pamphlet. We're continuing our series in 100 Days of Truth. I think we're on day 47. I have a conference call with our Intel team on that uh, for day 50 where they're going to answer questions. Get your Patriot hat. Uh, but we, we understanding the Constitution, how much power a, uh, a county sheriff actually has. Remember, a county sheriff not only can deputize people in his county legally uh, to carry arms and be law enforcement, but they also can arrest the governor of the sitting governor of a particular state if they go against the Constitution. So we need to know the Constitution. There's a reason why they're not teaching the Constitution. Same reason they're not teaching cursive. Twitter. Twitter is absolutely going crazy. Twitter has crashed three times. One of it, uh, they said it was crashed when the George Floyd cam videos finally uh, just came out. Uh, but it's crashed a couple times. I saw it doing some really bizarre things when I was watching Twitter because I saw the, the, the bombing in Be Beirut. I knew exactly what it was, but nobody was linking the two together for a while. And then all of a sudden, boom, it came up trending Hezbollah. And then it disappeared. I'm like, Am I seeing things? It just said Hezbollah. So now pieces and parts are coming together. I notice Facebook is acting really weird too. The format is changing. Uh, these are no coincidences. These are no accidents. Remember, uh, we, I, we tweeted this out. Uh, but the FTC yesterday uh, has officially put Twitter in, under investigation. And then the, we have the crashing today. As we said, George Floyd. Police cam shows the another side to the George Floyd story. Remember the original prosecutor in Minneapolis with George Floyd said, uh, I'm not sure if we want to prosecute or not uh, because there's another side to this. And they kind of hushed it away. Well, that's getting people in an uproar. There's, there's fear that they're, this might in, 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 uh, make the rioting even worse. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But there's another side to the story. Washington, D.C. arrests uh, a pro-lifer who got a permit outside of Planned Parenthood, took chalk and said lives matter, and they arrested him and put him in handcuffs, both of them. Where here we are in Washington, D.C., you can, you can paint in the streets with no permits, Black Lives Matter, nobody gets arrested. You, you, Mayor, Mayor de Blasio, matter of fact, Mayor de Blasio, I didn't write this in my notes, the health minister, uh, the, the, the health, his, his chief health person resigned today. There seems to be some trouble in, uh, with de Blasio. Uh, more will come out on that. But anyway, de Blasio did it without a permit. Black Lives Matter in front of Trump, Trump Tower. Nobody gets arrested for these things, but somebody put standing up with a permit, with chalk, writing chalk. Uh, this is the America that we live in, and they're burning down the cities. They're, uh, they're, 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 they're burning Bibles, as we said. There's also a report. I'll go back to my last page of notes. There is a report. They are, uh, there is, where is it at? Um, th there's Christians are uniting as Antifa activists are threatening to tear down a cross at a private college. So if anybody thought these Black Lives Matter organization, again, not that black lives don't matter, black lives do matter. It's the organization that's tied to Marxism, tied to terrorism, uh, it has an activist that they're, going, that they're trying to tear down and threaten a cross on a private college. So you have to be prepared. And everybody thought it was just about George Floyd. We're seeing that not to be the case. Deanna Lorraine, she, as you see, she follows his glory on Twitter. Uh, she came up with something on Twitter that I thought was really, really good. So I'm going to read it and give her the credit because she wrote it. Uh, she said, imagine believing the following. Maxwell is a victim. Epstein killed himself. George Floyd was a saint. Dr. Fauci is a hero. And Bill Gates is a doctor. Greta Thornburg is a scientist. And Mask will solve 319. <laughs> I think she hit the nail on the head. Brilliant, Deanna. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Minneapolis police. This was on, I think this was on Tucker last night. I missed Tucker uh, last night. I had a phone call, so I missed Tucker. But Minneapolis police, and we, we tweeted this out too. It was actually on Fox News. The, the police chief said these things. Minneapolis police uh, to residents. This is his warning. This is a police chief in Minneapolis to the residents of Minneapolis. Be prepared to give up your cell phones and your purse and your wallet. Carry less cash. 
Do not argue or get in a fight with any criminals. Just do what they say. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Insane. Carry less cash. Well, soon we'll be in no cash. That's where you gotta get your gold back digital currency. Speaking of gold, it happened today. It broke the 2,000 barrier. Gold has gone over $2,000 a, 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 an ounce, and away she goes now. Silver was up today. Silver, gold up. Zion up. Stock market up. Uh, so giddy up. All right, rep, uh, re Representative Ada, uh, Andy Biggs said Fauci and Burks are, uh, we sh are, have called wolf, cried wolf so many times in the last six months we should not even listen to them. Go and get the critical information you need from a real expert. Thank you, Andy Biggs, for telling us the truth. You saw Dr. Burks in the last 48 hours uh, be a ping pong ball from Nancy Pelosi, from President Trump, just back and forth and just looked uh, insane. Executive orders. We're told executive orders are gonna start come flying out left and right. Uh, it's gonna keep them spinning. Remember when President Trump first started, one of his things that he was so successful in was moving at light speed and had so many things going and that it was like they couldn't keep up? That's what we're told is going to start happening with the executive orders. They're going to be like machines, boom, 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 boom. And uh, there is, people keep asking, there is an executive order for the V option so that you do not have to take that. People ask that all the time, they're fear of that. We're going to take a quick break and we will be right back. coffee by his glory providing you with the best tasting coffee on the planet Welcome back. Get yourself Minnow. Get your kids some good content. Uh, Macaroni Bear swears by that. As you follow our Sunday service, he reads from his Minnow Bible every single, uh, every single time. Uh, I know people, adults that read from the Minnow Bible because it's easier for them to start the, learning the Bible. Whatever way it works, uh, read the Bible because the more you read the Bible, the more you're going to get the connection. Um, that's how God speaks. So we have to we have to be uh, we, we have to be listening through His Word. All right, uh, Gordon Chang. He is a, one of the, in my opinion, one of the two most renowned experts on the nation of China. Him and Dr. Pillsbury. Uh, it, Dr. Gordon Chang is calling for the United States to completely cut off all ties to China. The, I've never heard him say anything like that before. Uh, China removes, removes crosses from churches in, in uh, China as we speak. An elderly man was caught uh, trying to, uh, to protect one of the crosses. He was thrown to the ground. Uh, that is what you get in, a, uh, in the state of China. Mike Pompeo called out China as well again today by putting, trying to stiff arm Hong Kong, which they were not supposed to do even though they have sovereignty over Hong Kong. Uh, SSCI, this is be, re, being reported by Paul Sperry, uh, that the testimony of Brenner and Clapper, Clapper contradicts with the, the, uh, the, the uh, testimony of James Comey and Precep. Uh, the world's closing in, the walls are closing in, boom, 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 boom. They're turning on each other, they can't even get their same stories right. We're seeing now more evidence, not just the FBI, but the C underscore A and Mr. Clapper. Uh, Mr. Clapper. He's got a lot to explain. So does, so does all of them, but uh, John Brennan as well. 
Minnesota AG, Keith, don't call me Islam, Ellison in lawless Minneapolis. You remember, he's in charge of the prosecution that's going on right now. He is for defunding the police. This is what he said live. He actually said it. There's a video that says it, that shows him saying it. He says, if a woman is raped in Minnesota or Minneapolis, do not report it to the police. Instead, you should make an appointment with a social worker. Does not not get everybody outraged. If you're raped, don't report it to the police because you don't have police. You just have Sharia law in some areas of Minneapolis and Dearborn. And oh, by the way, why did the CEO of Ford resign today? It's connected. Uh, he's not connected, but he did the right thing. Remember I said several times, if you're, the, if you're running a, a, a Fortune 100 company today, with it, with the morality and the the the, the, the gray area, uh, it, it's it's hard to play by the rules, and I think maybe that's what Jim Hackett decided to do. That that, that his day was done, uh, so he resigned from Ford. Uh, it shocked a lot of people uh, out of Dearborn. Ford stock is still up, but um, Dearborn, keep an eye on Dearborn because they have Sharia law as well. So Minnesota again. Let me re repeat this: uh, the Attorney General, that's the highest. Law, uh, the highest uh, law in, this, in the state of Minnesota is saying that if a woman is raped, she should not call the police but make an appointment with a social worker. Wow. Wow. This is where our society has gotten. Uh, you just, you can't make that stuff up. Um, uh, RFK Jr., uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, came out with another article exposing Dr. Fauci uh, and how he is uh, uh, going to make potentially millions on the V option is Dr. Fauci telling you things. Uh, he's no expert. He's telling you to just follow the money trail with Dr. Fauci. Uh, it has absolutely been uh, brilliant how he has been taken out on a limb and been exposed. People are waking up to the truth. They know what it's all about. Uh, Dr. Fauci took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, the, the, the one that went real quick was Bill Gates. Yeah, people, got, people understood Bill Gates real quick. Speaking of people figuring out, Oprah Winfrey, she hosts a white guilt session, said the whiteness, uh, it, you, it, uh, the whiteness gives you an advantage no matter what you say. Oh, some of these people just need a beamer. Get on your beamer. Uh, go to his, his Glory Family uh, partners, get a beamer. They have the portable Beamer now that you can take with you. I'm taking mine to California, taking mine to, uh, uh, to Israel. Uh, the only thing I regret about the Israel trip is I didn't take my Beamer. Uh, and I won't make that mistake again. There's nothing like getting on the Beamer. Getting your blood flowing as God wanted it to do. So many people, matter of fact, I have not heard of anybody that's ever got a Beamer that didn't like their Beamer. Even Mrs. His Glory uses it every day. Don't tell her I said that. All right, uh, more doctors in Florida are uh, exposing fraud and deliberate false positive tests of 319. More uh, sites, testing sites that get incentives to test positive. We're showing 100%, which the doctors are saying is impossible. But what's nice about this is these doctors and these nurses are risking their, their careers and they're calling out the fraud. So there's no way. And they researched it and come to find out they're less than 7%. Uh, so the American people are being hoodwinked with false, false positives everywhere. Adam Housley, who is in the know, this ties to Jim Jordan's tweet, I believe. Jim Jordan is tweeting about something about to happen. He's acting like he's upset, but he knows what's coming. Adam Housley said, I'm sticking my neck out on this, but my sources are saying that Durham's indict, there will be a Durham indictment this month, meaning August. Now, that's earlier than I thought, but uh, we know September is going to be a ugly, ugly, ugly month. I would love to be able to say things are going to get better, but they are going to get worse before they get better. Uh, buckle up. Uh, we got it. God's got it. Walk hand in hand with him. Uh, speaking of Dearborn, Talib is in a dogfight. I have not heard yet. I believe that is in Michigan today. She's in a primary. Some say she may lose. Uh, let's see how that turns out. But Talib is the, uh, the, the congresswoman uh, that is anti-Trump, <laughs> say the least. Won't, won't support Joe Biden. 
uh, at least publicly. Uh, she's from Dearborn. Yeah, that's all you need to say. Uh, as we said earlier, the CEO, Jim Hackett, uh, resigned today from Ford Motor Company. Surprised a lot of people. And full disclosure, I've mentioned many times, I know Jim Hackett. I don't know him really, really well, but I've met Jim Hackett a couple times. He is a University of Michigan graduate. He is the one that brought in Jim Harbaugh as a coach at Michigan. Uh, and he used to run a steel case, which was a big furniture manufacturer in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, good guy, good guy. Uh, I've always liked Jim Hackett. Uh, couldn't figure out some of the things he was doing at first, but um, I understand why he's not there any longer. Uh, Twitter, we said earlier that the FTC is officially investigating them. It just came on OEN again. Uh, so there's many investigations going on Twitter. Again, it is my conjecture that at Jack has been at played for a while and he's been a part of this. Um, it just it just makes logical sense. You're going to see things turning back on them one way or another. 2013, you can't make this stuff up. 2000, somebody sent this to me. A follower of his Gloria family member sent this to me through Facebook, but I saw it before, and then she sent it to me, and then somebody else sent it to me again today, so we tweeted it out. Uh, it's about a 2013 TV show where they came up with a China virus that was unique, that tied to it's the same as the 319, and the cure was Roxy back in 2013, a TV show. Uh, so the cure was Roxy. Hmm. So they knew what was coming, and they knew the cure beforehand. It was in a 2013 TV show, seven years ago. Mike Pompeo, as we said earlier, calls for controlling uh, the Hong Kong. Uh, China's, uh, China's threatening re uh, retaliation against the United States. If the United States uh, uh, deports the Chinese reporters, there's talk about the United States uh, re moving the Chinese reporters out of the United States. China has threatened re uh, retribution on that. All right, teachers unions. We've been bringing up teachers unions, and the truth is coming up. Many parents are awake now. They're seeing that they hopefully have choices. They're seeing homeschooling. Millions of people are homeschooling, including us. Sam Sorbo has been on our program, uh, the actress Sam Sorbo, talking about homeschooling. We're going to have Sam back on. Uh, I communicated to her a couple weeks ago. Uh, and we may have somebody out of Florida combined together to, 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 to go more into detail. But people are starting to pull back the curtains on the teachers' unions and the power that they have. Uh, the teachers' unions' presidents say uh, they, um, they are going to start strikes in Texas, Arizona, and Florida. As we said, many parents are being awake. Many are talking about having school choice to take your money. If the schools don't open, why are we paying the teachers? Why are we paying the unions? What about the child? Where can we send our money? This has never been more open uh, ever. Um, there was a uh, teacher in Wisconsin who planted a fake tombstone uh, and videoed it of, a, of students dying because they had to come back to school. Uh, this is how far they've gone. And just before we came on, this is a coalition that just came out, a coalition of the 10 largest teachers' unions and their demands. These are the demands. Again, the 10 largest teachers' unions just came out with these demands. Uh, ban new charter schools. Two, to ban all private schools. Ban standardized testing. Four, police free zones, for, uh, police free schools, and, four, and five, more federal funds. They are holding tomorrow a national day of resistance. This is an Antifa. This is the teachers unions that represent the teachers that educate our, our, our kids. You can't make this stuff up. This is their demands. Absolutely insane. Get the police out, more federal funds. No private schools, no charter schools. Absolutely amazing. This is not about the student. Uh, you couldn't have picked a better time for, for, to wake people up with the school choice, and it's going to happen. Speaking of, we mentioned Jim Jordan. Uh, he tweeted out, and it was, it was, it was an orchestrated tweet. Uh, it was faux rage on Jim Jordan's part. He knows it's coming. Jim Jordan says, uh, tweets out, Obama, Biden, Comey, cabal, was out to get uh, President Trump. How is there nobody in prison yet? Soon. According to Adam Housley, August. 
that's sooner than I thought. I thought they were going to hold it off until September, October time frame. But maybe you just couple, have a couple indictments now in August, later in August, and then you play back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you, boom, bring down the real Trump cards. Governor Nitwit uh, of Michigan vetoes a bill that was brought up by the GOP-led uh, uh, legislation in Michigan to protect nursing homes. There's five, there's five, 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 five governors who are in huge nursing home problems. They took three and 19 patients that were infected and sent them to nursing homes on purpose. Uh, what was it, 30% 30, 30 of all deaths were from, from uh, nursing homes in Michigan. Uh, New York is really bad, New Jersey really bad, lawsuits are coming. We said yesterday that the local media is finally going after Governor Cuomo of New York on this. It's not over, they have the truth, they know the truth. It will come out. Uh, never, the Netherlands, the country of the Netherlands, no mask. They say no mask. Um, they don't, there's no proof that they are effective, according to the Netherlands. All right. Um, the judge in Manhattan, uh, remember, we were talking about this, this, uh, this, 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 this voting, primary voting of two Republicans uh, that have been going on for six weeks in New York. Uh, finally, a Manhattan judge today says they can count a thousand disputed ballots. This is six weeks later. Get used to this. You're seeing this all over the place because they want to push mail-in votes. One of the other things that the deep state is trying to condition the American people to now, you're going to start seeing this more and more and more, conditioning people to the fact that when we go to the elections on November 3rd, that there's not going to be an announcement that night. They're saying it could come within weeks, if not months, to know who the president of the United States is. They're starting this conditioning plan because if you do a full mail-in uh, ballot, you're gonna have, if you do this in Manhattan and you've got a quagmire like this, it's gonna be out of control. It would take weeks, months to figure out. As Mark Meadows said yesterday, uh, you wouldn't even know who the president is by January with this. I think President Trump has something up his sleeve though that that won't happen, which let's see. Um, but they are trying to condition us that we won't know who the president is on the third. Uh, so they're trying, they're trying their, their best. Deep state trying to condition Americans. That's what we know that they're doing. All right. Um, we also know that Joe Biden has lawyers on the ground in all states. All states preparing for legal action. This is probably the first time we've ever seen that. Remember Gore versus uh, Bush? They had to go to the Supreme Court. They've already started this. Every state. they got lawyers ready for uh, lawsuits. Uh, Ron Johnson again calls out the, the, the media. He calls them, uh, they, they feed off fear porn and false information. Ron Johnson has been on fire today uh, calling out people. Uh, we already mentioned that Christians uh, that unite together to fight off this Antifa activist who are trying to threaten uh, to d take down the cross of a private college. This is a private college. It's not a pu public college. What's this have to do with George Floyd? This is a Christian cross. Notice everything that's being, um, everything in society today is being attacked is, is Christianity. The crosses, a burning of the Bibles, flags being burnt, not allowing you to open up churches. We will have an announcement hopefully uh, th this week, maybe Thursday. I have a call Wednesday, I mentioned this yesterday, with uh, a group of pastors that are getting together to help other pastors throughout the country open up their churches and provide them a legal source that if they're, uh, if they're in their states, if they come after them uh, legally, that they'll have pro bono work that won't cost them anything to fight these lawsuits. Uh, it's a great thing that, uh, that I've been um, called in to help do. And when we get more information on that, we're gonna announce it. I'll probably have him on. Remember I said uh, the, the pastor who started the outbreak, uh, started the um, uh, Huntington Beach, we're going to have him on. Uh, absolutely great to see this happening in California, the outpouring. It happens all over the world. You see it in China. The more they, they, they try to stop the church in China, the more the church grows. The more they try to stop the underground church in Iran, the more it explodes. It's not the Iranian people. It's the Ira Iranian ayatollahs. The Iranian people are very young people. They want to be, like the, the, they, they be westernized. Uh, they're, they're not behind the, 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 the mullahs. 
Uh, and the church in Iran is just spreading like wildfire. The more you suppress it, the more it comes. And that's what we're sitting on. We're sitting on this last outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's starting to happen. We said it would start in pockets, and the pockets are starting to happen. And uh, what a great and great and great thing we're looking forward to. That's why we look at this as the most incredible time to be alive. Yes, there's a lot of whoa, whoa, whoa. But remember, God says, buckle up. It's going to get bumpy, but I got it. There's going to be a great outpouring of all uh, of, of the Holy Spirit and a revival like we haven't seen. This is Joel 2. This is the book of Acts, going back to the original church, the way the church was supposed to be. The church has always been mobile. We are the church. We are the lampstand. We need to be filled with the olive oil, which is the Holy Spirit. And we're mobile. We're not confined by a building. Remember God said in the Old Testament, I don't need a building to contain me. The heavens can't contain me. It is all for his purpose and all for his glory. So uh, what interesting times. Buckle up. God's got it. And uh, we're going to close off uh, this Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Maybe Macaroni Bear will want Taco Tuesday for Tuesday. Uh, so God bless each and every one of you. We pray for our um, we pray for our president. We pray for Benjamin Netanyahu and the nation of Israel, biblical Israel. We pray for discernment of our president, his, uh, his cabinet, and all the uh, white hats that are helping him on this mission. We pray for our, uh, our military, foreign and domestic. Our hearts go out to uh, Camp Pendleton, the seven Marines and the one sailor that was died in an exercise uh, where we will be uh, in less than a month or about a month. Uh, so we pray for them uh, underground and above ground. And we pray last but not least. This is what it's all about. When the lights come on, the light of Christ comes on. Are you going to be that light? Are you going to put your light under a bushel? Are you going to put it under a lamp stand? We have to put it out, the light of Christ. And we pray that you'll be that light to a family member, to a friend, or even a stranger. God bless you all and go in his shalom. He's the only shalom. God bless you.